you might be wondering how this qubits game you just played connects to quantum. Well, let's look at the difference between connect four and what you played qubits. The token value is based on probability. It has limitations in when you measure the outcome, when you know what the value is going to be. And your strategy hopefully changed based on when you can measure the outcome. If you could measure the outcome immediately when it was placed, then everything you're seeing has already been measured. And so you know exactly what it's gonna look like at the time you drop your token. But if you don't get to measure until the very end of the game, then as you're placing tokens, you still don't know the outcomes. And so you have to make a lot of different trade-offs. All right, so let's think about those token values. Uh, we were essentially storing two values, in this case, red and yellow. And we provided a visual that communicated the probability of each value being measured. However, we only had that probability. And so we still don't have control, complete control over the actual outcome, but we do have knowledge about the probability. Well, let's connect what we did in quantum with what we do in math every day. So math models the world world. That is the purpose of math. So if you have a real world situation in which you have two cookies and then you receive more, two more, now we have four cookies and we have a mathematical operation for expressing that so that we can calculate these values, very large numbers so that I don't have to do it with my eyes and my fingers pointing at it. Okay. And so we're used to a lot of math that models deterministic, predictable real world, real world phenomenon. Okay. Quantum is another set of real world phenomenon. It is quantum mechanics, it is real, and it happens at very small uh, atomic levels. But we have to have a mathematical model that allows us to predict it. So what you saw in the game were these tokens that had a certain probability. We actually have mathematical operations called a quantum operation called an H gate, which takes something that is deterministic and predictably 100% going to be an outcome of, for example, yellow, and turns it into something that has a 50-50 probability of me being measured yellow or red. So this is one of the most important operations in quantum. Uh, and it allows us to get that specialness, that uniqueness that distinguishes quantum from classical computing. What you've done is also like quantum computing in that when you are playing this game, your strategy hopefully changed based on when measurement occurred because of that probability that was involved. Likewise, quantum programmers also adjust and design algorithms based on when measurement can occur. If you wanna learn more, feel free to go to our website.